the automotive industry is witnessing a groundbreaking collaboration as the big four, Honda, Suzuki, Yamaha and Kawasaki, join forces to explore the potential of hydrogen-powered engines. This strategic partnership aims to drive advancements in technology, address challenges and ultimately pave the way for a sustainable future in the motorcycle industry. Each member of the big four brings unique expertise to the table. Honda will spirit research on the model-based development of hydrogen-powered engines, delving into innovative approaches to enhance performance and efficiency. Suzuki, on the other hand, will focus on an element study, meticulously examining the functionality, performance and reliability of hydrogen-powered engines. Yamaha and Kawasaki, true to their pioneering spirit, will take a hands-on approach by conducting practical experiments with real hydrogen engines. Their research efforts will encompass comprehensive testing to evaluate the engine's functionality, performance and reliability under real-world conditions. This hands-on approach will provide invaluable insights into the practicality and feasibility of hydrogen-powered motorcycles. I have to also add, additional support will be provided by Toyota and Kawasaki Heavy Industries. So it's a massive push towards hydrogen engines. Recognizing that infrastructure is a critical aspect of adopting hydrogen-powered vehicles, Yamaha will concentrate on studying the infrastructure requirements for a hydrogen refueling system. This includes exploring the necessary infrastructure for smaller vehicles such as motorcycles, along with the development of suitable hydrogen tanks. Meanwhile, Kawasaki will delve into the intricacies of auxiliary equipment necessary for fuel supply and tanks. They will focus on refining the equipment installed between the fuel tank and the injector, ensuring seamless integration and optimal performance. And I don't know if you guys know this, but Kawasaki has already made a hydrogen engine out of the H2 engine, which according to them was perfect for hydrogen fuel because of the added force induction. Undoubtedly, this ambitious partnership faces various challenges on the road to success. One of the primary hurdles is establishing a robust and efficient hydrogen refueling network that can support widespread adoption. You see, in theory, hydrogen would be much more convenient than EVs because you can refuel it in minutes. But if there aren't any stations, it won't really help. And this is a worldwide problem. We just don't have many hydrogen refueling stations. And collaborative efforts will be required to develop standardized fueling protocols and infrastructure, enabling convenient access to hydrogen fuel for motorcycles and other vehicles. Luckily, this is already being pursued by many companies. Companies like Hyperion, who want to build a whole network of hydrogen refueling stations. The pursuit of alternative fuels in the motorcycle industry is driven by a global shift away from traditional petrol and diesel engines. People want greener propulsion and hydrogen is just one of the options being explored, alongside carbon neutral e-fuels and battery powered electric motorcycles. Each of these alternatives present unique advantages and challenges. Hydrogen offers emission free operation and rapid refueling, while e-fuels can seamlessly integrate with existing infrastructure. Electric motorcycles powered by batteries provide quiet transportation options. Now the partnership between the big four reflects their commitment to exploring diverse solutions and fostering sustainable mobility. Now I have to add as someone who rides bikes, the sound a bike makes is very important. So for me, hydrogen or e-fuels is the only two options. Why is sound so important? Well, there is two reasons. One, experience. You see, when you go through the gears and the bike screams or rumbles its way to redline, it's something else, it's hard to explain, but it gets your heart racing. It's engaging, the bike speaks to you, it tells you at which RPM it's happy, it tells you when to shift by the sound it makes, it's just so important. The second reason is people tend to not see motorcycles on the road, but if you've got a motorcycle that's a bit louder, chances of other drivers noticing you and knowing of you is higher and chances of them driving into you would be lower. But I digress, the ultimate goal of this collaboration is to leverage the combined expertise of Honda, Suzuki, Yamaha and Kawasaki to unlock the full potential of hydrogen powered motorcycles. By pooling their resources, knowledge and research capabilities, they aim to overcome technical barriers, enhance the performance and reliability of hydrogen engines and contribute to the creation of a greener and more sustainable future for the motorcycle industry. Through this joint effort, the Big Four are determined to lead the way in revolutionizing the world of two-wheel transportation and shaping a future where hydrogen-powered motorcycles play a vital role in achieving global sustainability goals. 
But let me know down below what you guys think. Um, which one of the alternatives is based? Um, E-fuel, hydrogen, battery? Do you agree with me on the sound thing? Because it is a big deal. Like on a motorcycle, you are small and people really do tend to miss you. So if your bike makes a noise, people can hear you coming at least if they can't see you. But yeah, let me know down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please have a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll most probably like all of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?